Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make this healthy, refreshing drink. So keep watching. We'll start by washing our fruits. I'm using watermelon and I'm using pineapple as well so we're going to wash both of them. If you do not wash the fruit then germs or bacteria can transfer from the body of the fruit to whatever you're preparing so make sure you always have it cleaned. I like to select watermelons that have this yellow patch because it makes me feel like it's been sitting in the watermelon patch for a while and that it will be delicious. And this watermelon was so yummy. It was not as red as I expected, but it was still so delicious. And a watermelon is so refreshing on a very, very hot day. What I'm doing is cutting the watermelon, taking out the skin and then cutting it into little bits and then I'll transfer it to a bowl. Ever since I bought my new blender, you guys, we've been having juice or a smoothie every other day. Like it's an obsession at this point and I love it for me because when you make your own smoothie or your own drinks at home, you know exactly what went into it in terms of hygiene and also in terms of the content of whatever you are eating. This combination of pineapple and watermelon and ginger was so good. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. If you open the last pages of my Celebrate Cookbook, it has some drinks recipes that you would really, really like. If you don't have a copy of that, it is digital. Download it. The link will be in the description box. You can download my cookbooks. They have awesome recipes. You can download the food timetable. It gives you meal ideas and a calendar to plan your family meals. And then just download all that good stuff so that you can enjoy food and feed your family to the fullest. Next, I'll cut the pineapple head off and then I'll peel the body of the pineapple. You can already tell this pineapple was very delicious when you say delicious pineapple you just know as i was cutting it the juices were just flowing and i could not wait to dig in going to add ginger as well so I'm just peeling that ginger gives it a very nice kick I will be garnishing my drink with a lemon so I'm just slicing that Now I'm going to transfer some of the watermelon and the pineapple and the ginger to the blender and we're just going to blitz away. I don't need to add water so I'll just blend it for a bit and once I see that we have enough space I'll add some more fruits so that it acts as the liquid that will blend the rest of the fruit. I 
I've been using this Ninja Blender almost every day since I got it. Like it makes me consume more fruit and I love that. <laughs> but I have two complaints. First of all, it is extremely loud for something so small. And then it makes whatever I'm blending hot. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but everything I blend becomes warm or a bit hot. So whenever I make a juice or a smoothie, I always make sure that I have ice somewhere nearby. I'll put it in the cup. That way you're not drinking hot juice or a hot smoothie. just transfer all the content that I've blended into a jar because we're going to sieve this. We're going to separate the juice from the pulp. I'm using a strainer and I'm just pouring the entire content into it and it is going to separate the juice from the pulp. Some people like the pulp but I just wanted juice without anything else. I'll transfer to another jug and I'll store that in the fridge. The rest of it I'll pour over some ice cubes. You don't need to add sugar, nothing. This is just concentrate and it is so delicious you guys and also so refreshing for a very hot day. I hope you guys start taking more fruits. I'm garnishing with my mint leaves and I'm also using my lemon wedge and I will just enjoy this drink. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to click the like button and try it out. I will see you in my next video. Bye!